Happy Thursday, scientists. Today for science, you're going to need your crayons, pencil, science notebook, and your yellow resource folders. The first thing we're gonna do is take the yellow resource folder that you should have picked up last Friday during our supply pickup and open it up. The pages that are on the left side, you're going to take out, including the paper clip, and then open up your resource folder so we can place these inside. You are going to take out the first three, so the page that says adaptations, the page that looks like a jungle scene with three boxes in a chart, and then the page that says everyone needs a place to grow. Those are the pages we're going to be working on today in our science notebook. So go ahead and put the rest of them in your left pocket. Use your paper clip to go ahead and make sure that they're nice and snug. Then double check that this is in your anchor binder and then place your anchor binder back in your basket. We're going to be um, moving on in our notebook. So on Tuesday, you were reading a lesson from the science book on adaptations. So we're going to continue with our understanding of that content. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our notebook. And we're gonna turn the page, the previous pages from the last week were 17 and 18. So we're moving on to our new unit. So this is page 19 and page 20. Then turn back to your table of contents. We're going to write page 19 is going to be the adaptations, close notes, and today's date is 10-7-20. And then page 20 is going to be our creative side. And the creative side is going to be talking about inventing an animal and researching um, the wants and needs. So we're going to put animal wants slash needs. And we're going to actually, today's date is the eighth, so we're gonna go ahead and put eight, 10 dash eight dash 20. So make sure you have number 19 filled out and number 20. Remember at any point you can pause the video and then push play when you're ready to continue. Then flip your um, notebook pages back. We're going to glue these on, so you're going to need your glue stick. Take your glue stick and on the left side, we're going to put the adaptations page. Turn it back over. Remember to smooth um, down from the bottom to the top. And if you covered up your page number like Mrs. Ling, go ahead and just rewrite it on top of the page. This is going to be um, done in a slightly different way, so make sure that you're watching. The, the next page that we're going to glue down is the one that has the jungle scene on it. But before that we do that, we're going to be placing two folded. So we're going to fold this one where you're folding the bottom to the top of the picture so we can still see the information. And then we're going to turn our notebook and we're going to go ahead and turn it over and we're going to put glue on the portion that is still showing. Then the bottom or the fold, you're going to put to the edge of your notebook so it's right by the edge and then smooth it down. So then when we need to, we're gonna be able to open it up to see the full page. Go ahead and close it back. And now we're going to do similar work with this one. This time we're going to fold it in three parts. So the bottom portion where it says what pets want and need, you're going to fold up to the bottom of the chart that said wants and needs. So that's the first fold. And then we're gonna fold it one more time so the only thing that you should see is the zebra's ears and everyone needs. Then we're going to, instead of gluing this page, we're going to glue right on the margin page. So you can go ahead and make a strip, zigzag it so there's nice and thick. Then you're going to take this page, put the top of the page right at the crease of the notebook so it touches without going over, and then you can smooth down. So we have two folder folding papers. The first one we folded in three, and then you can close it 
and then the second one we can open up. So we're gonna go ahead now back to our notes page or the structure side to fill out the information that we're learning. So on Tuesday, we were asked to read in our science um, books to um, gauge an understanding of the vocabulary necessary for this unit. And you were asked to complete a um, vocabulary or lesson check. Today, we're going to apply some of that understanding to create our notes page. So at the top, we have the closed notes section. It says sometimes, we're gonna fill in the first word that says animals or plants have special, the next word is skills, appearances, or two words that are filled out are body parts that allow themselves to be more successful in their environment. Those skills, appearances, or body parts are called and the word missing is adaptations. So that is our focus for today's lesson. So now we're going to look more closely at an animal or a plant that has been um, given on the left side or the left column, and we're going to be writing some information. Um, please make sure that when we write, you write small because it is going to be quite a bit of information. So the first thing we're gonna write is the word camouflage. So when we think about the fish called a flounder, we think of how does it survive by applying the adaptation. So write camouflage and we're going to say skin is the same color as sand. The second thing or body part that they have adapted to survive is their body shape. And we say that they can lie flat. On the sand. And cover itself. So when we see this, this is um, two different things that this particular um, animal can do to be more successful in surviving in their environment. So they have camouflage skin, which is the same color as the sand that is surrounding them, but their body shape also allows them to lie flat on the sand to cover itself with that sand to hide. The next one is a stick bug. So we're gonna take note about their body shape And we're gonna say they are able to survive because it looks like a stick or branch. Comma, hard for predators to see. The next one we're gonna look at closely is a zebra. And a zebra survives because it has the camouflage. Oops, we should have had a U in there. And we're gonna say they group together and the stripes confuse predators comma so there's a comma there they have trouble knowing which animal is which. 
The next one is a Venus flytrap. And their adapt, um, adaptation is their skill. And we say that they live on the floor of very dense forced sunlight doesn't get to them period or comma, sorry. So photosynthesis is almost impossible. They developed the skill to attract and eat insects. And the last one that we're going to be focusing on for our examples is the milk snake. And we're going to write more about their ability to camouflage And then we'll put in parentheses, kind of. And we're gonna write, has developed a similar pattern or similar color pattern to coral snakes. And then we're gonna write coral snakes are venomous and milk snakes are not. And then because they are not the venomous ones, the, uh, their prey doesn't realize that they're not venomous and they get the two types of snakes confused so they learn to stay away. So we've taken some notes about what is an adaptation. So we said it's sometimes animals or plants have special skills or their appearance or specific body parts that allow them to be more successful in their environment. So being able to survive wherever they are located. And then we have listed these five examples of an animal or plant and what is their special skill, their appearance, or the body part that helps them um, to survive where they live. So now we're going to move to the creative side or the application of understanding about adaptations. And you have two activities. The first is the page that has the zebra that says everyone needs a place to grow activity sheet. You are going to fill out the first section based on your own wants and needs. So you're going to use um, a crayon, you can pick whichever color you want. The first thing you're gonna do, so I know that you're following the directions, you're going to use your crayon to do the starburst around your title. And then you can even shade it in to make it look a little bit more bold. So this is all about your own wants and needs. So then on the column that says once, you are writing your personal once. So your parents might say, well, that's not something you actually need. It's something you would like. So this could be um, video games. It could be 
a specific toy. It could be um, a phone. It could be any of those items that you would love to have, but we still would consider those a want. They are not needed to survive. I want you to go ahead and tell me at least six of your wants. In the needs, what are your needs to survive? Well, then you can list six of these. So I'm gonna give you an idea to get started. So we know that we need food, shelter, water, and then I want you to come up with, sorry, those are my little marks, three more. So I've given you three for each of these sections. You come up with three that are your personal answers. The next portion is what pets want and need. So this is the difference between yourself and a pet. So use a different color to show that you're listening to the video and you can kind of scooch that up if it's easier to write on the notebook. This time you're going to use a different color to make the little sunburst around the title. And then you can shade it in. Make sure that you um, are not coloring dark so you can't read it. Just make sure that it's light enough that I can still see the title. So this time it says what pets want and need. You are going to choose circle your pet. So um, if you have a fish, a bird, a hamster, cat, or dog, circle the one that you have. Mrs. Ling has a dog. Remember her name's Gabby. If you don't own a pet, I want you to pick one. So you have to pick one, but if you do own one, you can pick the one you have. Then I want you to list the things that are the wants of that pet, but also the needs of the pet. And I want you to come up with four in each of those sections. So where we have the little um, lines, that's the marker for the ideas for each of those sections. So you are asked to, on this first page, come up with three more wants for yourself, three more needs for survival, and then for your pet, you have to come up with four wants and four needs. Both of these sections have to be completed, at, and then you have to show that you follow directions with the colors. Once you're done, remember this is one separate picture to um, submit for part of your assignment today. The other pictures are going to be the notes page, the zebra page. So that's two so far. We're gonna come up with our third. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fold that up. Our last page that you're going to take a picture of is where you get to use some of your own creativity. So it says you are an animal inventor. Invent an animal that can live and survive in the environment below. Draw it, so you have, you have to draw it you have to give it a name and identify an adaptation that would help it survive in this environment. So in the chart at the bottom of the page, you have to give it a name, tell what the adaptation is. So remember those could include um, special skills, um, what about their appearance is the adaptation or um, what body part might help them. And then how does this help? So remember, you have three specific things to fill out in this chart, but you're also asked to draw it. So you have four things to complete on this sheet. This is the third picture to submit for today's lesson. So complete the information on your own invention. Complete the information on the wants and needs page. And then your last part for today is the adaptations page. So make sure that you finished each of those, submit the three pictures. Um, there's going to be some extra credit available for science if you have followed the directions the first time.